Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. So for the full problem and the solution transcript, you can feel free to check out the description of this video on our YouTube channel. OK, so this week's problem of the week is a very cool one. Um, it is about physics and math and how they are intertwined. Um, uh, I chose it because you kind of exercise a few properties of vectors that I thought were really cool. And I thought it was nice how you can use math in order to get from one important physics concept to another important physics concept, and that is we're going to show that Ke is equal to 1 half mv squared is undeniably intertwined with 1 half um, Ke is equal to kinetic energy is equal to I omega squared. And so the question asks you to start by looking at this mass rotating around an axis um, with this angular velocity omega. And it says to break it up into tiny pieces, little dm pieces, and uh, sum them all up and look at how kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared, uh, what that turns into once we take into consideration vectors. OK, so I'm going to go through the motion of um, doing the sum of each little piece. And I'm going to start with, by calling it delta m. Uh, of course, if you've taken Calc 2, you might know that that is going to become a dm. And it's going to be in an integral very soon. But each little piece is going to have a term velocity. Because if this has a constant angular momentum, then the pieces closer to the center don't have to necessarily go as fast as in terms of linear velocity as the pieces from the outside. Think of the carousel uh, and how the horses move on that. So, so just a little tidbit for you. Uh, I'm going to turn this into the integral. And I'm going to do that, of course, by letting uh, dm become infinitely small. If you've taken a Calc 2 class, you've probably seen this before. Um, so we have the sum uh, m integral of m 1 half d squared dm. So how are we going to maneuver with this? Well, we are going to recognize that velocity is a vector and uh, velocity squared, in this case. We're going to say that's v dot with v. And um, we know that by properties of vectors. And another thing is that we know that the velocity vector is equal to the angular momentum vector um, crossed with the radial vector. And I guess for now, I will be dropping the um, arrow signs over the vectors, just know that they are still vectors. What's a vector is a vector. And hopefully it doesn't get too confusing. In this one section, it's going to be pretty clear what's a vector and what's not a vector. OK. So I've substituted in omega cross r uh, for both those v's. And we're going to use a property of vectors. Uh, so this one right here, a dot b cross c is equal to a cross b dot c. So I'm going to use that by naming this as a, um, this is b, omega, and this is c, then r. And by doing that, I now turn this into uh, into this expression by substituting it kind of in the same way, matching it up terms. Uh, the next thing I will do is, um, is apply this rule, this cross product rule, that um, a cross b is the same as negative b cross a. So I will write that, and then I will execute it. Uh, and from here, I will use the beloved back minus cav rule. Um, we, I believe we have proved this in a previous problem of the week. Um, so here, back minus cab, I am going to write that down. Uh, but here we have a, b, c. And of course, back minus cab comes from this back minus cab kind of thing. I thought that was cool. Um, so applying it here, uh, what that will give us, and I will erase this to make room. Uh, so applying that gives us this using the uh, proper terms, sub substitutions, etc. It's basically the same thing. It is the same thing. <laughs> so from here, uh, I'm going to erase this just to make room, but then I'm going to um, use some manipulations and some notice, some things that we note in order to simplify it. So, okay. So the first thing I notice is that um, omega and r, uh, those vectors should be perpendicular. And if two vectors are perpendicular, then the dot product of them um, that should be zero. That term's going to drop out. Uh, I can pull a negative one out of um, this dot product, and that's going to turn that negative r into a positive r. Um, a vector dotted with itself is going to be itself squared. And so apply that twice, and we get and I will 
put down uh, back in those vector signs. Okay, so from here, I'm now going to reinsert this into what we had before, and then something cool is going to happen. Hope you see it. Unlike, uh, unlike linear velocity, angular velocity for each one of these pieces, these little DM pieces, is the same. That's because the entire um, object is a rigid body. If it is not rigid, um, then I suppose it would be okay-ish if the different pieces had different angular momentums because then it would change shape. But if it is rigid, all pieces need to be rotating at the same angular velocity. If that is not the case, then it cannot stay rigid because um, it would kind of splatter out, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, so uh, omega over here can be treated as a constant, and what you're left with is a 1 half, which can also be pulled out. Um, and you have the integral over the entire mass of r squared dm. Well, the integral over the entire mass of r squared dm, that is the moment of inertia. So uh, this whole thing becomes i omega squared. And what was this all representing before? Well, it was, I should have written this before, but it was representing kinetic energy. And thus, we have shown the undeniable connection between angular and linear. And I thought that was a very cool result. And you could only get there if you knew some vectors and some of their properties. So that's it for this week's Problem of the Week. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see more Problems of the Week, you can feel free to click up here for our playlist. If you want to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, feel free to click right there. And if you want to visit us on centerofmath.org, feel free to click right there. And if you're on a mobile device, there should be an I in the top corner over there. If you click it, it should give you the same links. Thank you very much for watching again. Have a good day. <laughs>